Hey everybody, I'm back with another unboxing, and today we're unboxing Happy Places Mermaid Tales. Uh, this is one of the single packs. This is Royal Pearl Seahorse. Now, Royal Pearl Seahorse is the only seahorse that we know of so far in the um, Mermaid Tale universe. So there's some of her box art. And I, I actually think that she might be meant to go with Perlina, which we haven't unboxed yet, but we are going to unbox soon. So uh, these are very similar to the last series, Rainbow Beach, where where they have the surprise pet kitty's accessory inside. So it looks like it's going to be some sort of headpiece. But here it shows um, a picture on the back. It says, go for a ride with Royal, with Royal Pearl Seahorse. Royal Pearl Seahorse. So apparently the... Um, Little mermaids can, little mermaid choppies can actually ride her, so we're gonna check that out after we open her up. Uh, but the back of it says, Dive in and open up an ocean of possibilities. Take a journey under the sea with the little choppies to a magically, to a new magically happy place. The little choppies have become beautiful mermaids. Open the window to find a surprise petkin inside. Meet the happy sea seahorse, their underwater friend. There are so many new faces to make more happy places. So, okay, let's go ahead and open her up and see what she looks like out, out of her box. So the box opens up this way. And, yes, this is our first opening of these single ones so let's see here it says the prize pack and inside push to push here okay before we check out that let's pull out our checklist and see what that looks like guys okay so the front of it looks like it has a whole bunch of different petkins that you can get uh tails change from color T tails change color from warm to cold water. Some more petkins. And then on the back it says happy places, happy mermaids, and happy seahorse. Wait, happy mermaids, happy seahorse, and pet accessories. And then we have the collector's guide. Uh, let's see. And then it has this little area down the bottom which confuses me a little bit. It says glue area. Are we supposed to glue this to something, or is, or, or is this so you can glue the checklist together? I'm not really entirely sure. But, um, anyhow. <laughs> we have a Royal Seahorse, and I think it's Tierra that we're going to get uh, in the box. And here is Tierra. Pretty cool. Let's, um, so, uh, Tierra is has like a horse face and then you can see like all the detail work to make it look like an actual tiara. It's light blue and then there's like a headband like slash shell band that is um, painted purple. Uh, that is painted like a pinkish purple. Now let's go ahead and take our pony out here. Oh she's neat. Alright so does she have articulation on her on her fin? Doesn't seem like she does. I, I thought I thought by looking at her that she did, but okay. So her her fin is stationary, and it's a harder plot, uh, a transparent hot pink plastic, and her chest is blue in that weird blue. So I wonder if that's what changes color. And then her her base, the base of her body is this, is a lavender purple. She has um, a light pink hair color uh, that's curly on both ends uh, with some um, teal painted shells on both ends as well. And then she has a string of pearls that go uh, across her head like a headband. And then uh, she has pink eyes and under her eyes she has um, little bubble dots under both sides. And she also has a pearl necklace on that's, um, it's almost, um, uh, pearlescent. The, the white on the pink, and I guess it would make sense that it's pearlescent since they're supposed to be pearls. 
And then underneath that, she's got some pink going on. And her, um, she also has, uh, like a, I don't, I, I, these, I want to say these are wings, but they're not, they're like fins in the back. So I wonder if that's how the, um, how the mer, uh, the mer shoppies, um, rider. But, uh, it's a little disappointing that her fin doesn't move. There's no flexibility because, um, the other ones, the girls that are in this too, but I wonder if that's just, they wanted to make her stationary so that, uh, that she would be, she wouldn't fall over. But, uh, she's pretty cool. Um, should I grab a shop, uh, a mermaid so that we can check, check her out and see if, uh, see how she, how they look on her? I probably shouldn't. So we put Tiara on her head. So that fits on there very nicely. I can move her around and doesn't fall off. That's pretty cool. Well, if I can get this to focus. Well, they do fit on her back. You kind of have to fold the, their arms over a little bit um, to hold them for, for stability, but um, yeah, they look pretty good. So let's just see um, what on her changes. I'm actually going to think that her chest changes, but see how it's a blue right now? I'm thinking that that blue is going to change. Yep, it changed to white. Pretty cool. I don't think anything else changed though. So that's what changes is her chest changes from blue to white. If you're looking for a review on her, we do have a video out uh, for her as well. I will link um, all the links to um, Mermaid Tales reviews to the bottom of this one so you can check those out as well. But uh, that's all we have for you guys today. If you like the video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up and subscribe and we will see you guys on the next one. Bye guys.